week we are tackling plastic bags. They exist. The world doesn't seem to want to get rid of them, so I'm going to teach you how to store them. Obviously, I'm going to go on an environmental rant a little bit here and say that this is the best option. Reusable bags. There, I've said it. You got your lecture. Now, I went out and collected a bunch of bags from friends so that I could do this video. Um, so, here they are. Now, one of the things with plastic bags is that sometimes people get them because they use them as their garbage bags. I do that as well. But, as you can see, you don't need a hundred bags for garbage. Hopefully you're not producing that much garbage, otherwise that's a whole other issue that I don't, I don't, uh, okay. Um, let's say you do use these, you collect them because you want them for garbage. Even still, there are more bags coming in probably than are going out, which is why you need to start rethinking how you're living your life. Now, yeah, there are times where you forget these in the car, you forget them at home and that happens, but I'm talking about changing your lifestyle so that A, again, the environment, we don't need these kicking around all over the place, and B, it takes up a lot of space in your home. But now that my environmental rent is over, we're going to assume that for whatever reason you need a thousand plastic bags in your home and I'm going to help you organize them. So, okay. Let's start here. I went on YouTube and I went through and looked at a bunch of different videos on what are the best ways to organize plastic bags. There are great ones out there, but I'm going to go Mythbuster style on you and tell you why a lot of them don't work. So there's the one that I actually really loved and I actually tried this because I thought this is great. So what you do is you, you know, you fold it over in half, you make a little loop, then you grab another one, you do the same thing, you flatten it down, and then you just fold that one over a little bit in there and shove it in the box so that it looks like Kleenex. When you pull one out, the other one comes with it, and so on and so forth. The problem with this one is that, as you see, there's no rhyme or reason to how I'm shoving them in, so eventually they start getting tangled. You pull one out, 45 more come out. Then you're trying to figure out how to do it. It's just a pain in the butt. So that one's great if you take the time to put it in properly. Let's be real, you're watching these videos because you don't want to take the time to do that. So I'm going to show you another one that I thought was actually really awesome. It was similar to the Kleenex box. And we, I mean, we've all seen these, the, the Lysol wipes or whatever brand you use. Um, and they're rolled in one another. It was kind of the same thing as the Kleenex box one, but then you roll it in and then you keep rolling so that when you pull one out, the other one comes out and so on. The problem with that one is that you have to roll them all at once and then it's the inside one that comes out first. So what happens when you get new bags? You can't add it to that. Do you know what I mean? It's once you've once you've packed these in, you have to wait till they're all out in order to repack the whole new set of bags. So these bags are then sitting in your cupboard like that. Or I mean, we all have that home where they you think, okay, great, I put them all in here. They're organized. That doesn't take up a lot of space at all. I mean, look at that. Obviously, takes up a lot of space still. So here's what we did in my home growing up. <laughs> we played with knives. Just kidding. Sort of. So what my mom used to do, she would cut this plastic part out. Don't do this at home kids without an adult. So cut the middle part out and simply, get a smaller one, take the bags flatten them down. Obviously this is more annoying the first time you do it because you have all those bags and simply roll it. Okay, no big deal. You put it in there. Grab the next one. Same thing. And you don't need to do this the Kanmari way where you fold it out nicely, whatever. No one has time for that. So just 
kind of put it in a clump. It's going to form the shape of whatever you want it to look like. Roll it up. Boom, stick that one in. So you have your container. It takes up a lot less space. Every time you need a bag, you just pull out the roll and away you go. I mean, it doesn't look as cool as all the other ones, but it is the most functioning and I give my mother credit for that. Yeah, I don't know. Don't use plastic bags. <laughs> but if you want to, that is the most effective way in terms of all of my research on how to store them in the least amount of space possible. So there you have it. All those bags fit into there. No word of a lie. All right. Ivanka out.